Okay, welcome back. Uh, now we will be discussing immediate adjacent implants. Uh, I will divide it in uh, two parts. The first part will be to place immediate implant placement, uh, the, maybe the, the sequencing, the risk. Uh, uh, do you do it both at the same time or do you do one and then the other one and why do you do that? Uh, so this is the alternative uh, implant option uh, described by CAN and I will show you different cases, different situations, uh, what you, th you need to think uh, or take into consideration. And after uh, this case, I will discuss uh, long-term results, uh, 13, 14 uh, years down, down the road to see the, if the papilla between the two implants uh, is being maintained or resorbed or uh, disappears. So we will show you that and, and let's get uh, into the matter. And we have many, many uh, cases done and I would like to show you some cases that uh, and that maybe uh, you can doubt uh, how, how come there is no bone and there is papilla. And this is because uh, it has been grafted crustally. Uh, 